iOS 17 continues its evolution with big new features, and today I'll share what to expect when Apple publicly releases iOS 17.2 in the very near future. Let's dive into the top 15 things that could change the way you use your iPhone. For this video, I'm using 17.2 Beta 3, and if curious, I've seen no battery life or performance issues thus far. Maybe a couple very minor bugs, but less than the iOS 17 build had already. Enhanced Siri Powers Starting off with Siri, your digital assistant is getting even smarter. Now, when you're navigating with Apple Maps, you can ask Siri about your ETA and get a real accurate answer. No more vague responses or odd web lookups, just the facts. I generally find it easiest to activate Siri with just holding down the side button versus trying to summon her by voice on the iPhone. And so I'll hold the button and say, what is my ETA? And I'll have a simple, clear response. You should arrive in about 21 minutes. Additionally, you can now ask Siri to tell you your elevation or altitude. What is my elevation? It's the little things that make a big difference, and heck, if you have a use case for this type of information at a moment's notice, I'm happy for you. Detailed weather widgets. Next up, weather updates. The weather widget is getting a facelift with new details, daily forecasts, and sunrise sunset widgets. So you can check detailed weather information without even opening the app right on your home screen. And when you open the detailed forecast, you'll now see precipitation totals for the next 24 hours as well as the previous 24 hours. If you haven't noticed, Apple has slowly given us all the small things we have enjoyed in other third-party apps over the years that kept us away from Apple Stock Weather App for so long, which is super welcome. Journal. Your iPhone is about to become your personal journaling companion with the all-new Journal app, set to debut in iOS 17.2. The Journal app boasts a clean and straightforward interface, just tap the plus button and you're ready to start a new entry. Your entries are automatically dated, keeping your memories in chronological order. Plus, you can bookmark your favorite moments for easy access. But that's not all. The Journal app goes beyond text. You can add images, voice recordings, and even locations. So now you can capture your thoughts, experiences, and memories all in one place. And we all know sticking to journaling can be a challenge. For this, Apple's got you covered with a scheduling feature tucked away in settings under Journal. And there, you can select the time and days of the week you would like an alert to jot down your thoughts in your journal. So whether you need a morning nudge or an evening prompt, you can tailor it to your routine to build these habits. And here's the cool part. The journal app can pull inspiration from your life. Head to journaling suggestions in the settings, and from here, you can decide what info it uses. From your workouts to your favorite tunes, locations, photos, people you're with, you can basically customize it to function exactly how you want from ongoing suggestion prompts. Writer's block, we've all been there. iOS 17.2 introduces reflections, which are prompts to ignite your creativity. From thought-provoking questions to creative cues, these prompts are here to inspire. Don't like one? Hit the refresh button for a fresh idea. The last point on journaling I'll share is on security. Obviously, your thoughts can be a bit personal, and Apple takes that seriously in the new journal app. Head to Settings, Journal, and then Lock Journal. Choose your method, passcode, face ID, or touch ID, and your journal is now Fort Knox. Quick translation. Breaking down more language barriers comes with the new translation option. With just a button press on the handy new action button of the iPhone 15 Pro, your iPhone becomes your language translator. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest worldly traveler in the world, but I have to imagine for many of you, this is a killer feature to have for those situations where translation could make or break your day. I'll just add that I really like the way Apple added this new design for changing your customizations for the action button, and part of me wonders if it is a taste of the new design standard we'll see in iOS 18, which is rumored to be a big redesign. Hmm. Favorite music playlist. For the music lovers out there, Apple's introducing the favorites music playlist. It automatically gathers your favorite tracks, so your go-to tunes are always at your fingertips. Now this has been possible for as long as I have known with creating a smart playlist, but A, I don't think average users knew of this feature, and B, you could only create the smart playlist on a Mac and not your iPhone, so this will really make this functionality much easier for the masses. If you are playing a song, for example, hit the star, and that's it. If you go into your favorites list, it will now be at the top and ready for your next favorite shuffle. Collaborative Music Playlist Now you can share the love of music. Collaborative playlists let you create and share musical experiences with friends and family. To start this, open a playlist you have created and click the three dot icon in the top right corner and select the collaborate option. At this point, you can create a link for others to join the playlist. 
You can even invite people via a QR code, which I think is also pretty cool. For those who don't know, your phone's camera app is a QR code reader. Simply go to take a photo of any QR code and it'll instantly create a clickable link on the screen to take further action. Turn off listening history. You can selectively turn off your listening history via focus filters so you can listen to what you want without influencing your future recommendations. This is really helpful, for example, if you are playing Disney songs in the car for your kids, or maybe you are teaching a late night yoga class with some nature soundscapes playing in the background. If you don't want these tracks to enter the shuffle when you're hosting neighbors on the deck with drinks, this could be a smart option to avoid the mess and the need to always be curating specific playlists. Stickers as message reactions. Express yourself with stickers. Message reactions just got more fun. If you long press on a chat bubble, you can now add stickers to spruce up your conversations. Before, you had to go to the plus button near the text field and add them, which was a few more steps. You remember those stickers from our youth that when you tilted them side to side, they would sort of sparkle in multiple colors? Yeah, Apple has recreated those, and if you add the option and tilt your phone, the stickers will have that same effect. What a time to be alive! New TV app experience. Your entertainment hub is getting an upgrade. The TV app is now more user-friendly with improved navigation and discoverability. And for example, the icons at the bottom have been updated. In the store area, there used to be two tabs that displayed either movies or TV shows, but this has now been combined into one seamless store. I personally am happy that Apple continues to make little tweaks to their everyday apps with these new OS iterations than just purely new functionality or apps, and I think this change was a small but welcome one. Enhanced reliability of emergency alerts. Safety first, Apple is enhancing the reliability of emergency alerts. The new local awareness option ensures you get crucial alerts on time. Head to settings, notifications, scroll all the way down to government alerts, tap emergency alerts, and click the local awareness slider to activate this feature. Whether for severe weather or vital notifications, I really appreciate this feature for improved alert reliability, though I haven't had a chance to see it in action yet. More Memoji customizations. Express yourself like never before. Memoji customization is getting an upgrade with new options for your avatar's body. In addition to changing your hairstyle and color or your eyes or shape of your head, you can now have different poses, clothing, and things of that nature. Rolling news event updates in real time. Stay informed with real time news updates. The news app now supports live activities, delivering up to the minute news events right to your lock screen. This could be handy for things like election coverage, sports, or other critical world events if you want to be kept in the know of what's going around you. Though these days, I fully understand if you just want to keep that puppy off as well. I haven't seen any activations of this feature myself since downloading 17.2, but I expect this will be evolved more over time. Prevent favorited songs in your library. Back to the music app for a second. If you want to favorite new songs but not automatically add them to your library, you now have the option to toggle that control within the music settings, which may help from cluttering up your library, depending on how you like to manage your music. Disable inline predictions. Some of you may not like when Apple generates inline predictions, and therefore we now have the option to turn them off. A simple toggle in the settings under general and then keyboard will enable this more distraction-free typing experience. Note that if you turn off predictive inline text, you can still get suggestions at the bottom of the screen. But as before, you can also turn those off completely with the same settings area. Easier access to app and game categories. Last but not least, navigating the app store just got easier. Category links are now at the top for a quicker access to your favorite app and game genres. Before, you had to scroll a good bit to find what you're looking for, if you could ever find the categories, and luckily, Apple is making your app discovery a little more seamless within these different sections. And there you have it, 15 game-changing features coming your way with iOS 17.2. Which one are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to hit subscribe and the like button if you enjoyed the video. And until next time.